Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Charleston Southern Buccaneers and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Crimson Tide are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. Number one, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Next, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Thirdly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. The small forward gets the ball. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He lets it go. You betcha. The whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. There's a slam. Up, up, and away. Slam jam bam. What muscle he's got, baby. Number 10, pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tickles a twine. Take a look right here. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Nothing better come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Working it around the perimeter. He goes for three. Way off target. the dribble gives it up tries for two Rivers is carrying his team right now but he's not getting any help out there it's basically one against five not good odds fronts him first Dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and he made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Gave it up. For three, goes in. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He looks for three, knocks it down. around the perimeter now trying to feed the low block they get that rejected and all the way on the baseline now the kick out he dials long distance they strip him in the basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there baby Space 
Nice. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The shooting guard with the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Down inside. Double team now, bad angle. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Arnold, pound it. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. They go into the low block. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Trying to feed the low block. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. The center gets the pass. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high rise. They work the perimeter. The center takes the pass. The ball goes out of play. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He fires from long range. Makes the shot. Oh, we got to replay that one. There they come with a double team to stop it. Oh, what a strip, Red. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. With the fake on the outside. The small forward takes the feed. Perfectly executed. It's a Hubando foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. move not successful Dick I tell you great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn top of the 
the circle. He buries the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He's open if he wants the shot. Up and inside. Three off the rim and no good. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. With a deep shot from outside. Way off target. On the top of the circle. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Great anticipation defensively. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Moving it around the perimeter. Turns it over. Bowen is feeling great right now. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. With a great block. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Alabama are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. There's the trap. He takes the shot off the baseline. He gets the bucket. What I call a hard screen. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle out here. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, Me? With a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. He shoots from the top of the key. He's money with the shot. Obvious foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Side. He throws it up from downtown. He buries it. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Look at this effort! A little frustration right there. Pushes it up. Both teams looking to get things going here. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Let's see that up close! Accepts it. Tries for two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're fighting each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot.
There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He pump fakes. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Nice shot. Here's the replay. Good shot. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Here's a double team. He takes it away. Coming back the other way. And the ball goes out of bounds. defense a steal on the inside oh what a way to force the turnover great anticipation by the post player they'll work it around the arc good fake goes up for two charleston southern are putting together a pretty good run here execution's been the key baby Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Puts it up. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. On the outside, he does the sweet fake shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Working it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He's got a nice shot fake. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Transition opportunity coming up. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Oh, yes. Let's see it if the replay does that any justice. Ball 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great play to take that to the basket. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow Charleston Southern are showing signs of a good run here Dick they look like they put it together for a moment hey let's see how long they can keep it up isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper shot was no good baby beautiful use of the screen though that was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> On the outside. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Down in the low block, trying to work inside. Easy one. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He strokes it, drains the shot. Fakes it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the top of the circle, Charleston Southern are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. They work it around the arc. Nice fake. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He comes away with it. Beasley goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. He's got to pick and choose, Brad. Pick and choose when to go for the steal. Working it around the perimeter. He unloads. Way off target. Up it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Looks at a three. Sinks it. Shot clock is dead. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score way outside can't put it down at the end of the first half the Buccaneers lead by three it's been a tight battle so far Dick do you have a highlight of the half in your book watch here pounding the ball inside like you see in this highlight will take a lot out of the team on defense I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half all right Dick let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half 
Bama has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them have in a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. He shoots from outside. Got it. Dumps it in. Taken away for the bucket. Perfectly executed. The Crimson Tide are down by four. Fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They're working around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He unloads off the rim and no good. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially. But the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Jumped in front to take it away. He got the ball back down. The floor is stripped up. For two, basket falls despite the contact. Receives the pass. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Can't get the shot to go. They'd like to get it inside with a low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Gave it up. Steals the pass. He gets the shot to fall. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Low block for the deuce. The land. Intercepted. Trying 
to draw some contact. Dick, they're ripping up the nets today. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Duncan goes to the line for the first time. First shot is good. And he got them both. And he'll kick it back outside. goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Got a man in high post. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. Right, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Rivers handles the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. We didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He intercepts it, pushes it. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lead, anticipating really well, trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. It's good. out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. The center takes the pass in the paint. The fake. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He shoots from left of the circle, and he can't hit the shot. Easy one. Steal. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. it up. Intercepted. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. The center receives the ball. There's the trap. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Over. 
He attempts the three. The Buccaneers have got to continue to get him the ball. Now he's on fire. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Knocks it down. Looking for a good shot. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He goes for the trifecta. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Gave it up. They've left him completely alone. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arm. That spacing takes the pass in the paint. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Rivers handles the feed, goes up for two. Unbelievable! Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that baby. They work the perimeter. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. He rejects it. There's a double team waiting there. He lets it go. Way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. He comes away with it. On the dribble, gives it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He's got a high post flasher. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Hit the replay button on that one. For the bucket. He gets the bucket to fall. On the outside. He shoots from the angle. Rims out. Steals the ball. They run it up into transition. Buries it. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. Defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. For 
two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Stolen ball. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Charleston Southern have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Number 34 with the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Moving it around the perimeter. We'll take the shot. You bet. the dribble gives it up they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot now they work it around the perimeter in the paint the ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brian. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Jumped in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. For the deuce. Was that beautiful or what? They move it into the front court. Robs him of the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Strips the ball. Gave it up. Steals the pass. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. And that's Basin. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Stop and pop. Off the rim and no good. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great defense. On the dribble, gives it up.
He tries the three. Buried it. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice shot. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Now they'll bring it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Look at these fans. They're loving it. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. If you look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Time out on the court, so let's go courtside. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. Double team now, bad angle. Steal. They get it out into transition. Knocks it down. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. post well it's time to start fouling they got to stop the clock Dick. and again let's take a look at that state farm drive of the game dick hey the ability to get to the paint is one thing brad but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well that's awesome baby with a capital a and yet another foul is it just trying to hang on here and we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fear tonight. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Foul, and that stops the clock again. A chance for one and the bonus. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second one is good. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Moving it around the perimeter. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way.
change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. And that's the end of regulation. This one's heading to OT, baby. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. NCAA tournament, and we're in overtime. Two evenly matched teams. They've played well throughout. Extra session coming up. Richard, you can't ask for more than this. I tell you, Brown, I know you and I love it. The players love it. The coaches love it. But isn't it going to be sad that one of these clubs are going to walk out of here with an L? A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. He shoots from downtown. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. He intercepts it. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and the spin back the other way. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He lets it fly. He drains the shot. around the arc takes away the pass for the bucket easy one he tries the three ball rims out for two Accepted. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up for the deuce. Charleston Southern is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Gets it back out. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. He drains the bucket. Up and inside. Now the kick out. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to get eye, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Pushing that basketball. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Look at that great defense right there. Not allowing him to make the turn. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Controlling the ball. Picks off the pass. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that. Well, we'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad. A lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. 
Harm and foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Makes the second. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Gave it up. Got the shot if he wants it. Here's a double team. Ten on the shot clock. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Stops the clock again. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. And the clock stopped with a foul. <laughs> with the free one. He makes the front end of the one and one. Hits the second. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. They switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. The lead is now seven points. This game is still up for grabs, Brad. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. They push it up on the break. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. He has one and the bonus. It. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Gets the second. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. He launches the bomb. You don't see plays like this every day. Another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He goes to the free throw line. Foul shot is not good. They really need a score here to have a chance. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball, they made sure they converted on the free throw line, they did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Buccaneers came, they saw, and they conquered their first round foe, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shifted the gear for that second round matchup. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners along.